So, I have four of the most important golden rules of graphic design to show you today. And no, we're not focusing on the basics or design principles. No, we're going a bit deeper. The first golden rule of graphic design is something that so many designers get wrong in 2024, and that is, you should be making purposeful designs. Now, what do I exactly mean by purposeful design? And trust me, if you get this wrong, your designs simply will not work. If you consider the UI design of a banking app, first ask what is the purpose or purposes of this design. Thinking in terms of the purpose of a design, you can then make decisions that lead to winning designs that are functional and that your clients actually need. So for the banking app, we could say that the home screen needs to display key information at a quick glance, things like bank balances or transaction alerts. We could also suggest that there needs to be easy access to other parts of the app without overwhelming the users and so on. When knowing what the design's purpose is, the app design can then be created to fall in line with those purposes. And without knowing these details, the design direction could easily become lost. But hey, get this. When considering purposeful design, you can also determine things to avoid on your design. So for the banking app, you could suggest that we need to stay away from excessive animations, irrelevant graphics, and overloaded interfaces. And as you can see, Knowing what not to include and what to focus on when designing something, it can be hugely helpful and save you a lot of time on any kind of design project. To wrap things up nicely for this first golden rule, purpose-driven design ensures that the message is clear and the design serves its intended function. That's one of the most important and most fundamental parts of any design you ever make. The next golden rule for graphic designers is one that can make your work simply look and feel professional, and it's so easy to do as well. It's that C word that I deem to be so important in graphic design, and that is consistency. We're talking about consistency of typography, color scheme application, overall style and layout, and all of this across an entire design or succession of designs. Now the question is, why is this so truly important? Hmm. Consistency doesn't just make a design look good. And by the way, it is one tried and tested method to make any design look awesome, but it's so much more than just that. Firstly, having strong consistency on a design has been proven to build trust within the audience who's going to view and interact with it. This is even more important when it comes to branding. Before its 2014 rebranding, Airbnb struggled with inconsistent design elements across its platforms, and this led to confusion about its identity, was it a tech company, a hospitality brand, or something else? The rebranding introduced a consistent logo, color scheme, and visual language, and this clarified its identity as a community-focused travel brand. And this positioned Airbnb as a professional, reliable brand helping to gain more trust among the users. Furthermore, using strong consistency helps to drive the message of your design even further. The World Wildlife Fund, or WWF, has consistent use of black and white photography, that panda logo that we all know about, and that green or yellow accent that we see in their materials, and this reinforces their message of conservation and environmental presence. Whether it's a brochure, a social media post, or a TV commercial, this consistent design language ensures that the urgency and importance of their calls and communication is effectively driven and everyone sees this consistency and they just know what this is all about. A quick side note or tangent, pandas are one of the coolest animals out there, right? The third golden rule in today's video should be at the heart of your design workflow, and that is to focus on user-centered design. This basically means that whenever you design something, you should have the user of that design in mind at every design decision that you make. Now, why might you ask? Well, simply put, you're making a design or a piece of visual communication for this group of people. So you should be creating it for them, much like how a suit jacket is measured and designed by a tailor for a specific body type. Take the brand Tide Pods, for example. They make a product that goes into the washing machine with your clothing. And yes, there was that silly meme some years ago that led to some people to consume Tide Pods. But the graphic design of the packaging aims to prevent this from happening. Tide Pods packaging is designed to be user-centered by clearly showing how the product should be used and safely stored. 
The pods are found in a resealable childproof container with bright clear labeling that explains the product's benefits and usage instructions. The packaging addresses key user needs like clear instructions, safety and convenience. By designing the packaging that should prevent accidental ingestion by children and makes things easier for the users to understand, Tide ensures that the customer experience is positive and safe. And for this project, the designers would have had to get into the mind of the user of this product and in doing so, they were able to make design choices on the packaging and the branding that would solve potential issues. This way of design thinking isn't only beneficial, but it's a golden rule that you should be considering in your projects. Now this can also stretch to things even like logo design. On the Amazon logo, we see the smile or the arrow that goes from A to Z. And this symbolizes Amazon's customer satisfaction and the idea that they sell everything from A to Z. It's a small detail, but actually probably required a lot of thinking and relates back to the users of Amazon. We can assume they sell everything from A to Z and the smile is warm and welcoming, which makes shopping their Amazon more approachable. So we have arrived at golden rule number four. And before we get into that, if you are learning something from this video, consider subscribing for more useful design content in the future and give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you are expanding your graphic design mind. So rule number four is all about responsive design. And this is even more crucial in 2024 and onwards. There is no point in creating a design that looks amazing, that functions so well and serves its purpose and makes your clients smile from ear to ear with their wallet wide open for you. Because if that design fails to translate to different screen sizes or devices, it's pretty useless. It doesn't need to be a website or UI design. It could be a digital flyer, a brochure, a logo or pretty much anything these days. It just needs to translate to people's phone sizes, phone screens, tablets, and desktops. And let's face it, in today's age, that is almost any design. But as designers, how can we focus on responsive design? Start your design with mobile in mind first. This ensures that you address the most constrained environment and then scale up to larger screens rather than the other way around. Test across devices and screen sizes. This is easy to do and will solve a lot of problems. Optimize for load times. Ensure that your design is optimized for performance across all devices. This includes optimizing images, minimizing file sizes, and employing techniques like lazy loading to improve load times on mobile screens. Scalable graphics. Use SVGs for icon and logos as they scale without losing any quality. This ensures that the graphics remain sharp and clear across all screen sizes and resolutions. Now you really cannot design something these days and not consider how it's going to perform online on different screen devices and sizes and just hope for the best. That's not what you should be doing. But if you'd like to learn more about some graphic design techniques and how to improve your skills as a designer, just click that video on the screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.